Since a graph consists of a set of vertices v and edges e, we can also consider subsets of vertices and edges. A subgraph is a subset of vertices v prime and edges e prime, where v prime includes all vertices incident on an edge in e prime. So, if our graph consists of the vertices and edges, we can take some subset of vertices and edges. And again, the key requirement is that if we have an edge in our subgraph, we have to include the incident vertices. Although note that there's no requirement we have to include edges incident on any particular vertex. Now in principle we can select any edges we want along with all their incident vertices, but in practice two subgraphs are of importance. The induced graph is a subset of vertices v prime with all edges incident on these vertices, and the edge induced graph is a subset of edges e prime with all vertices incident on these edges. Note that while we could use the term vertex induced subgraph for the first one, we don't. As a general rule, unless otherwise specified, base things on the vertices. So we might try to find an induced graph and an edge induced graph that is not an induced graph. So for the induced graph, we'll select any vertices we want, how about these, and include all the incident edges. For a subgraph not to be induced, it can't include all the edges of its chosen vertices. So let's deselect a few edges and drop the vertices, and that gives us our edge-induced subgraph. Given a graph G, a K clique is a complete subgraph with K vertices. For obvious reasons, a three clique is often called a triangle. For example, we might try to find any three cliques in the graph shown. Do four cliques exist? How about five cliques? So a three clique would be three points, each connected with the others. We can find a few of them. A four clique would require four points, each of which is connected to the other three. Since every vertex in a four clique would have to be connected to at least three other vertices, we can ignore any vertices that are only connected to one or two others, as well as any edges incident on those vertices. We can then try to find a four clique among the remaining subgraph. Likewise, a 5 clique could only use vertices of degree 4. However, we would need 5 of them. And if we look carefully at the graph, we see that there's only 3 vertices with degree 4 or more. And so there is no 5 clique. And this leads to the following. Given a graph G, we can ask several questions about it. Does it have a K clique? How many? What's the largest K clique in the graph? Fortunately, these problems are extremely hard, which means that you could be the first to find a solution.